Rogers Arena is buzzing tonight. But it has a lot of people dreaming that the NBA might come back to Vancouver permanently. I don't want to get arrested tonight. Bring back the NBA. Am I right? Am I right? I was just six years old when the Grizzlies came to Vancouver, and I was completely obsessed with the team. I just love watching them win or lose, which was a good thing because they lost a lot. As a NBA team, yeah, we probably didn't succeed like we should have. The Grizzlies have the worst record in the history of the NBA. At that time, you know, we weren't very good. They were terrible. <laughs> we were going into every game thinking we can win. It just didn't turn out that way. Even though the Grizzlies were one of the worst teams in NBA history, they were my team. So when they mysteriously relocated to Memphis, Tennessee in 2001, it broke my heart. I was shocked. Crestfallen. I never saw it coming. It didn't seem like it was fair, and it didn't seem right. More than two decades later, I'm on a mission to uncover the truth behind why the Vancouver Grizzlies left town. Like, there's so many people you could point fingers at. For some reason, I put all the blame on Stu Jackson. It almost looked as if he wanted us to not be good. And of course, there was Steve Francis. Oh my god, there he is, there he is, there he is. I think Vancouver fans were absolutely lied to. I'm going to try my best to make this a success in Vancouver. We need to subpoena the financials or something. And I think any time you, know, you leave something undone, it haunts you. The truth may be out there, but it is difficult to find. The public deserves to know the truth about why the Grizzlies left town.